Hey, so I just wanted to drop in here and tell you what we were getting up to in this video. As much fun as we had during the demolition phase, we completely destroyed the walls, so we have to build them back up. Both these walls were completely destroyed when we took off the roof from the old building. It caused the wall to be very uneven, so we weren't able to lay blocks flat on top. Because it wasn't flat, we had to lay a kind of foundation in order for the blocks to lay on top. This hole right here is from a chimney from the heating system. What we did here to get the wall straight was we built the frame out battens. We used a combination of cement and some of the original uh, slate stone from the shed itself to form this flat section to create a foundation. So you can see us here just placing in the cement and stones and smoothing it off with the frame. It worked out quite handy and we continue to use this method throughout the top of the building to get all surfaces level and ready for block laying. By so using the wooden frame you're able to level it off a piece of wood which is nice and easy. What's happening here is we're taking out kind of the dry dusty parts of the wall, the eroded cement and replacing it with big blocks to add more structural strength. You want to make sure these are stacked properly and hold their own weight and balance. The wall's been wet at the moment for more adhesion for the, the cement that's going down because the powder will not adhere to the cement. You'll have like a layer between the cement and the wall and this can weaken the wall. So we're just setting up the frame here again to do our next run along this wall. So there was a huge chunks of the wall missing and we reinforced it with big stones but they all have to fit in like a jigsaw puzzle, a bit like Tetris. Corners are a very important part of the building. Without the structural integrity of the corners, the building could fall down or crack. So Dom made sure to put a flat piece of stone on top first and then fill the rest of it in like a Tetris puzzle. Thank you. 
we moved on to the middle wall. In my opinion, this was the hardest wall. It was nearly falling down as we touched it. It was just crumbling in our hands. It was the most uneven surface of the whole building. Um, this took us the longest to get flat. Thanks for watching. If you liked our videos, subscribe. And if you have any questions about the work we're carrying out, leave a comment below on this video or previous videos. We post almost every Friday where you can watch us build and chill for a little bit.